so quick one this video stemmed out from a conversation i was having with a friend if you are new to my channel welcome my name is tony by the way i am a new immigrant in canada am i really new i am about a year in canada but i feel like home already but well i'm still like learning and everything so this conversation stemmed out from or this video rather stemmed out from a conversation i was having with a friend and she was asking me because people ask me for a lot of things and sometimes i feel bad because they feel like know everything but i sincerely do not know i just try to share as much as i know or what i find or whatever i get i share with people so the person was asking me where she could get like things from like where to shop for office she got a job by the way a very good job in narabasi bank and she was asking for where to shop and i was like ah, man, i don't know canada is very expensive start off i've mentioned it several times on my channel or let me just say on instagram if you're not following me on instagram please follow me by the way because i share many more things there and i always tell people that i like the uk life and people will be like oh why don't you go back to the uk and blah 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 but that's not the reason why we are here today canada is kind of expensive and i feel that their clothing sometimes does not give me what i really want so for me personally i'd rather go to a trip store to be very honest i would rather go to a trip store because i can't be spending my money on what i don't know i've bought new clothing what quite all right here there's a particular store i love so much everybody that is my friend in canada they know how much i love that place winners i'll just take right i don't buy with my money but i'll just tell my husband my husband likes the store too by the way so is with his card we go shopping at winners i've seen a few things i like in winners but apart from winners there are very few stores that match my fancy so the thing with me is i might not find what i want in a store but i'll find a whole lot in the thrift store i've shared my experience about a thrift store value village and some people were like well, it's really really expensive it's quite expensive to be honest guys but i still shop there i've not gone there in almost three months another reason why i've not gone there is because my mom is not currently around so value village if you go with someone that is like over 60 you get more discounts so all that expensive stuff sometimes i get discounts like further discounts so sometimes i don't really feel it but i know that it's quite expensive and sometimes their things don't really make sense but i shine my eyes whenever i go there like i don't want to go and buy nonsense and bring to the house now to the message of the video so i was telling the person that for me shall me i am quite different i do thrift if you don't mind she you do thrift do you get i do thrift because it's not even for anything and let me be sincere so i do not have money so i <laughs> will do thrift for many reasons and apart from the fact that maybe i might be low on cash or something i do thrift for several several reasons it might be that i want to do a particular thing and i need one item for that if i buy the way i should be buying my house will be filled with a whole lot of things which i don't really want so i buy the kind of things that easily i'm giving it out and sometimes i really like them and it's for keeps for a very very long time because i like to watch out for quality at the end of the day so i just wanted to show you guys like some things i've bought from some of the thrift stores to be honest with you guys they are diamonds valued stuff you get in thrift stores not to say that there are times that you get panda or nonsense but for me i love shopping so i'm quite patient when it comes to shopping people cannot you can't shop for me you won't satisfy me that's just it and my own likes it's not as if i like bling bling unfortunately this is what i like wearing like i remember the first time i met my mother you know and she was like why are you wearing black <laughs> guys. and this is totally not planned i didn't even know i i'm not kidding you i think sometimes if you see me wearing black leggings i change it <laughs> but to be honest i think i have more than like 12 pairs and i'm not kidding of black leggings i find leggings very comfortable very 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 comfortable i have a lot of denim jeans i've not worn jeans in a long time so i do more of like tight leggings i love it so much but i'm always changing it so each time i go out and i see a new i see a long one i'll buy i've told my mom to buy like three for me from primark i love love underlying love primark leggings there's a particular time they used to stock one like i bought in like i bought four different blacks like same one different like one two three four so i love leggings that much i love black a lot i love black tank tops like this is just like comfort wear for me in the house i I just threw this on so i was talking about shopping so if you go shop for me and in your mind you're buying this bling bling shirts not as if i don't like all those things but 
it might not really be what I want, so I like shopping by myself. I just like going out looking for nice things, and I love neutrals a lot. I love nudes. I love pastel colors a bit. I love grays a lot. I love blacks. I love my blacks. <laughs> they try to like convince me, but I feel like black. Once in a while, I do pops of color. So, guys, I'm going to be showing you this outfit. Let me just inspire you. If I know most people don't do treats, I know I have a friend that she was like, Tommy, what are you doing with treats? I'm like, I have always been like this. If I like something, I go for it. It's not necessarily because of maybe finance or anything. Yeah, finance is also it. I'm saving. Canada is a very expensive place. Ontario is a very expensive place. Let me pay my rent first. We'll talk about other things later. I can't be thinking of huge like things I need to do and I'm going on a shopping spree. Do you get what I mean? So that's just me personally. Everybody's quite different. So I'm going to be showing you. I've said this how many times. I'll be showing you some of those things I bought. I can't remember the prices right now, like how much I really bought them, but if it's too pricey, though it depends. If I really like it, I'll buy it. But like this one, it was like I didn't do as an, I just loved, and this is my color. Oh my goodness, like I really I love it so much. It was actually brand new when I got this particular one. I think I got this one from a liquidation store, but I'll call it trip because it's still something that's it's not brand brand new if you get what i mean it still had its tags i remember guys i bought this for like five dollars yes with tax it came to about six dollars something yeah it was five dollars because i think everything they had on sale all the clothes they had on sale at that particular time was like five dollars or something and it was like a very very cute sweater we all know that this is a sweater country so i've been buying a lot of sweaters and everything this was like five bucks and i just love the shape so I like things like this. I'll wear it very soon. I hope it looks nice on my body when I wear it. Yeah. So I like things like this. And like I said, I remember this particular one. Brand new. I cut off the tag. $5. So let me wait and I'll be right back. So guys, do you like this? So, so this is what the sweater really looks like. Like I said, I just love the... I like it being irregular. I like... um plain clothes but i still like a, a bit of like something going on with it i like the design i like everything yeah so this is the sweater i've worn it i'm sure some people that follow me might have seen when i wore it i've worn it before some have not worn i buy sometimes and i just keep sometimes i actually even forget that i even bought one item like i really need to change so this is what the sweater looks like and this is it so it's something that of course you still need to wear something underneath and yeah do you like this let me know what you think this other one is the jacket there are many others it's just a normal jacket but i like it so much it's actually atmosphere primark i think i bought this for about um about 15 dollars if i'm not mistaken and i bought this from value village i would leave the link to that store value village yes most people in Canada know Value Village. Many people do not like that store because, yeah, I think I think their things are becoming overpriced. But and this is a size ten, a UK size ten. I wear for my tops usually. I wear it. I think no, I think it's a size eight. I know it's a small. So this is what it looks like. Sorry, that's it. <laughs> it's the advantage of thrift. One button is off, and I don't know where it is. So. I don't know. So it's actually not so comfortable, but it's not bad. Let's say I'm not trying to like button up or something. So this is what it looks like. And yes, this one, I dry cleaned it. The amount I even used in dry cleaning was more than the amount I bought the jacket. I think for dry cleaning, I think it cost about $30 to dry clean, but I didn't really mind because by the time I put the price of the amount I bought it and the dry cleaning, it was still very fair to me. So yeah. I dry clean it too, please. <laughs> I dry clean. So I don't just even wear. I hardly even, I don't, I'm not the kind of person that when I go out to buy clothes, I try them on. I don't know for some reason. So I like the fact that even in the UK, when I'm shopping, I'll buy them in the store, take them home, try everything. If I'm not satisfied, I return it to the store. I don't know why. I don't know how to try clothes in, like in the store. I just don't know. It's not. I like to get home, be in my comfort zone, like really try it out, try it out. Not that I'm just in the store rushing. So that's it for me personally. So this is what this jacket looks like. You might have seen me wearing it before. But yeah, 
15 bucks i think i need to i don't think it was up to 20 dollars either 15 dollars or 18 dollars and i really like it because i like jackets like this this is really like my style of jackets so let me let's check out the other ones The next one is this one. It's one size. I like this one too as well. Let me just see. Okay. So this one is like a poncho. I really, really like it. I've never worn it before. I bought it over three months ago. I think I bought it in December. I've never worn it before. I just didn't know where to wear it. And besides, it was really winter, so I could not really wear it anywhere. Probably now that it's a spring and it's not so cold, it's okay for you to wear. I might just wear like um, a sweater underneath and then this one. But I like it. It's my color, like you can see. I like browns. I like neutrals. I like nudes. So anything brown is my color. I really, really, really love brown. So. It was a no-brainer for me when I saw it and I think I got it for like $10 as well. I got it from Value Village too. Value Village, people do not like it, but I find treasures in Value Village. For me, I'm usually very patient when it comes to shopping too. And I'm not usually under pressure. I think I went with my mom to buy some things that day and I saw it and I was like, ah, I need to get this thing. So yeah, this is what it looks like. So I really, really like this. This is just this is just very me this is very very me and last but not the least i'll be showing you the last item i bought um not that i bought i'm just showing you there are several to be honest with you guys i have plenty <laughs> i have plenty upstairs i have plenty around clothes that i have worn so yeah i'm just like trying to show you all this this one too was brand new let me just i've never i bought this and i just like washed it it was still brand new with the tag. It was a Zara. I bought this from, I think, Salvation Army Trip Store. Let me just wait. I've never worn it. I bought it and I just, I washed and I hung it. I've not, like, had cost to wear it anywhere. So let me just, I'll be trying it on. And it's a small. I just hope it's really my size. Let's just, fingers crossed. <gasps> Guys, I have bad news. So it's a small. It has this band here. There's this band here. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not just in the mood. Maybe probably maybe when I'm more patient or something, I might try it on. But yeah, there's this band here. I'm, and I usually wear small sometimes, but I couldn't even get it past my shoulders. I don't know. I'm not in the mood to like struggle wear it from down or anything like that. I'm just not in the mood. So yeah, but I just wanted to show you that some of the, these are some of the things you can get for people that go to offices or something. You can definitely wear something like this. People say people in Canada are not stylish. <laughs> I think I agree, but for me, I try to be intentional whenever I can. So if you're someone that you're looking for things like that to buy, then you can consider, if you don't mind, you can consider thrift. And one other store will easily tell you, in fact, they should make me their brand ambassador already is Winners. I'm sure if you're in Canada, you know Winners already. There's Winners, I think there's Home Sense and Marshalls under the same umbrella. But for some reason, I just prefer Winners. Everything home fashion, their fashion is not bad. Everything home fashion, skincare, I like them. It reminds me of TK Maxx. For those that are in the UK, TK Maxx. So Winners is that option in Canada. So you can try it out as well and you can try zara that's another store i can tell you to try out that i've also been to because i can relate but many other stores in canada i can't relate to them their pricing their styles yeah i can't just relate it's not doesn't give me what i really want it's not as if i'm i am an overtly fashion fashion conscious person but yeah then another place you can try definitely is amazon i just think amazon sometimes can be overpriced but yes, if you're trying to look for like office wear, where to shop, you can try Amazon as well. But for me, I do treats. In the other pictures of like, so I think I'm going to be doing this in this video too. Because it's not since makes sense for me to just go and bring 50 items. So if I remember, or if I see any picture of where I wore any trips item, I will include it in the video so I can see how it turned out when I wore it. So guys, that's the end of this video. That's just basically what I wanted to bring to your attention. It just occurred to me that I could make a video out of this because somebody might actually need this information. So I buy thrifted items. It does not mean that I don't buy new items. So before you go and start saying, oh, she only wears a um, second hand boy and there's really nothing wrong with it anyways. But... I buy 
from different places if it catches my fancy if i like it if i can afford it i will buy it yeah shopping is my therapy it makes me sleep very well at night apart from praising god and worshiping so guys thank you so much for watching this video if you enjoyed this video please give this video a thumbs up if you're not a part of the family if you've not subscribed yet use this as a cue for you to subscribe because there's going to be a lot more coming up on this channel and if you've not followed me or you're not following me on instagram what are you waiting for that is where all the tea is that is where the juice is like my insta stories even me that i own it like i look at it from a different point of view and i'll be like i like this person i like me <laughs> okay so guys i'll see you in my subsequent videos stay blessed bye